Hey guys and welcome back to Zombie City! We are in the middle of making an adventure map here all about the fall of the apocalypse. Well, it's about what happens after the apocalypse, really. And I have been down and around working on this first rather important starting tower for two episodes now. It, you know, it is the place where we all start out. Lots of things need to be taught. Lots of theming needs to be a hit home. And I would like to just quickly give you guys a, a smart update on this. Oh, actually, no, I, th I think... Yeah, no, let's, let's do this. We'll come over here. We'll talk about that afterwards. Don't, don't worry. But things will be talked about at all times. So I've been going around and working on this. You guys didn't really get to check out the uh, massive complexity that is this quest. Don't worry, no command blocks today, or at least none that are in my immediate future. But we'll start with this guy. Hi there. You've just taken a quest to speak to me again. Are you tough enough for it? Now, actually, I'd like to make, make this one mention about how almost all white coats will give you quests. But I thought that would be a good little starter te text there. And then boom! Ha! Thank you so much. I do love a good tickle. Most quests will not be this easy, but people will tell you what they want. That last sentence definitely needs a bit of a work around there. It's a, a little vague. But I got given this quest token meta. You may remember that I was telling you guys uh, about this, but now I'm going to run into my first particular headache for you guys. Trader. Trader's just a random person. He's all good. He will sell me some cake. Those of you super observant will see what the problem is already. And you take that and you'll go away. And that's all good. Now, a lot of the times before now, he had done pink fart bubbles and opened up all of these things. And obviously, I don't want these trades. And I'm not sure how to fix that. I've, I've sent out a cry to the internet. You can see I've been I've been trying. You can, I've sent out a cry to the internet to try and figure out what's going on there. But, but he will work. And eventually, this cake will also be placeable somewhere. I haven't quite figured out. Because obviously, we're going to be in adventure mode when, when people go through this. So that to eat cake, you need to put it on the floor. And which block do we put it on? I don't know. May, maybe this. I was thinking maybe iron trapdoors so we could make a little table here and then have tables around to put cake on. Maybe make that some sort of feature of the game. I don't know. Something else I don't know. You can see here two different colours. Bam. I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds about what's going on here. Uh, so this is like the quartz facade down the bottom. It... It feels nice. It feels comfortable. It, feel, it feels like something that anybody would build on the bottom of here. We could probably make that nicer in the details, but, you know, it's kind of standard palette. And around here we have uh, sandstone, which I think, uh, like, as as it's own, on its own, if we ignored all the, the floors above, I think that would be the winner. But with the andesite, I'm, I'm not so sure, guys. I, th I think we may actually end up doing the quartz. I've got to, I'm going to have to do a little decision-making there, do a little bit of... Um, of actual building. I've also got a few uh, little ideas scattered around, you know, down here to a sitting slash social area, maybe a fire pit, a couple of like concrete benches, sort of stuff you find on city waterfronts, just places to hang out with people. And over here, I'm going to kind of take out this whole sort of area here, I think, put in a historical ship. You know, like in most cities, they have a, here is the HMS, blah, 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 that was pivotal in keeping our city uh, free in the Great War of 1675 or something, or however far back your country's history goes. Um, so you should, uh, yeah, well, maybe, maybe do something there. I've also been thinking, where do my paths go? Because this, this is actually the the serious decision that needs to be made is how how do people get around this place i personally in city building i hate putting cars down and i'm going to put that in the thickest most rural accent i can i hate it it's it's horrible it's disgusting you can't get into a car you can't drive around there are plenty of ways that minecraft actually deals with uh, let me do this uh, with with walking around and travel and stuff like that. So why don't the cities that people build reflect that? So I'd, I'd like to do that. We're going to start off maybe with like horseways and then we'll have a uh, minecart subsystem, of course, and maybe some elevated walkways, uh, flying machines and pigs. You know, there's there's loads of things to do. So I've got to, I've got to think about the roads as well. So that, that's probably going to be something. And I want to kind of 
maybe lower people's expectations for this particular build over here. So I've since thrown up a pillar of wool and that proportion, that, that just not just wouldn't be right it just wouldn't be right so i think we're gonna have to get rid of the magenta layer around the outside but that's probably not even for this episode uh i've been umming and ahhing about this because obviously i would like it to be like the main thing you can see from the start village village yes tower um so i want it to be proportional but striking Anyway, that's a whole load of stuff that I'm going to go work on now. I've got decisions to be made and, and, yeah, and things to think about. And all that doesn't make for the best actual live recording. So I will come back when i got some progress. We have a new bad guy joining us. This guy is Fire Zombie. He's fireproof and has a very small chance of dropping this fire resistance potion here. I think you have to kill about 100 of them to get one. I gave it a 1% chance. Yeah, you can see that it's not a thing. Hello? Ah, going to have to try and fix that. Going to have to try and fix that. We'll, we will work on that. But I have a, a new problem. A new problem that I would like to uh, ask you guys about. Is that not going to go just on there? Brilliant. So you can see this guy doesn't have a floating name above his head, but he does. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. Now, it's relatively simple to tell this guy from the others just by the look because he's on fire. Though there is a small problem. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe we'll just use him inside. I kind of had an idea for him to have be outside. Um, but yeah, what I really want to know is about these name tags up here. Do you guys think we should keep them or get rid of them? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we can do little things to make them all stand out. Like, this guy could have, like, I don't know, pink boots on or something. I don't know, some, something like that. Let, let me know, guys. But we want to go back yonder. No, yonder. Because I want to show you something. I want to show you what I've been working on. Of course I want to show you what I've been working on. I've been, I've been working on stuff, guys. Uh, for, whoa, whoa, mouse movements. First thing I want to show you... It's not that way, it's this way. Look at all this, this dirt I've been taking out here. I'm starting to decide where the average levels of stuff are going to be. So I've been walking around using like radial fill commands just to kind of take down layers. I've decided this is where it's going to go up. And I would also like it to go up somewhere over here-ish. I, th I think it, we're going to work up towards that building there when we finally get around to doing it. What I, what I need to do here is make a whole load of concentric hexagons. Um, just, just build loads and then start layering them down this this stick here but that's probably going to be next episode right here we've got ourselves a dinky little broken tree broken tree dead tree wh whatever you want to call it i kind of like the tree but i'm not hang on let's uh, let's get rid of this i kind of like the tree but i'm not too keen on what i've done down here i think i think i would like to change that little bit of pod soul in there just to make it feel nice and deathly um this is a subway entrance. Uh, it goes down underneath. Let's let's go and have a look. Nothing nothing going on down here at the moment. I just kind of opened it up so I get an idea of where I want to be going. But I kind of like the idea of what I've done here. You can see I've got a curve going this way over the top of this building, this doorway. And of course, there's going to be a stairway on the other side, right? So I did a different curve. Well, the same curve, but opposite on this side. And then I kind of just joined them up with straight lines. Or at least that, that was my intention kind of worked kind of didn't but i had also done it all in this blue concrete and i put that down and went and posted it up on reddit and i was like guys i like where this is going but it could do with some work uh and someone came along and went hey have you tried using carpet just kind of blatting carpet all over it Let, let's show you what they were meaning um they were like hey just just kind of randomize the carpet up you never know the extra texture might give you some 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 depth some feel and i was like that's great but i didn't like how it looked i really didn't like how it looked it just looked a little bit too um broken and rural for what i'm doing i know this whole place is supposed to be broken but it just looked nasty so what i decided to do was band the roof up here and i think it's given like the same impression whilst keeping a clean and tidy view about itself i i like it anyway uh let let me know what you guys think uh you can see that i've completely encased this lobby in here but i have a small problem uh this is the doorway that i intended to do uh unfortunately yeah, that'll do. Unfortunately, this is the only way in and out. Like, if I try and put it here, say, let's get rid of that bit of glass. Can't 
can't go through. Can't. So I've really got to try and figure out what a better way of doing this would be. Also, the internals here. I have no idea. I've even, I've even gone as far as ripping the staircase out that I had at the back here because I just straight didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Uh, I've also kind of paved this area over here. Don't be put off by all the stone brick. All of this is going to repl be replaced. Well, I don't know about all of it, but the vast majority is going to get replaced. You can see I've got this line of redstone torches showing me where I want like some provisional paths to be laid out. I'm kind of thinking about the... I want to call it the harbour walk, but this isn't a harbour. The beachfront be beach promenade that uh, I thought I'd put that path in first because it just it feels like the, one of the first paths that would actually get put down if you see all that people walk along the front of the, the, the beach, right? I also have this area here, and this is where I want my little zombie to occur. Hi there, dude. How's it going? Ideally, I'd like him spawning in the fire. Yeah, like that. Does Toggle Downfall put that out? No, cool. I didn't think it did, but him, he, he gets put out, and that, that's a problem there. That is a problem. I don't know what we're going to do about it, uh, but this shows us nicely this little mural thing that I've put on the on the back here. Is it mural? Muriel? I, I, I never know whether there's an extra, an extra um, vowel in there or not, but I kind of like it. Well, I've kind of gone for a, a river theme, a, a water theme. You can see we've got kind of wavy pattern down the bottom. I was kind of just experimenting with the... Hey? Thank you. Uh, kind of just experimenting with the terra terracotta glazed glazed terracotta blocks. That's the one. Uh, and I like it. I like it a lot. We've got kind of a daytime scene over here. The rising of the sun, the light blue sky, a seahorse popping up through the top of the ocean, maybe. I don't know. And then we transition into a nighttime scene over here. The, su the moon rising up, the darker sky and seahorse. So they're, they're pretty nice. I don't like the floor. I don't like the floor at all. And I think it's just because it's a massive expanse. I think the end stone would work kind of in this area. If I don't know, maybe the path needs to needs to have a little bit of an indication down or something like that. Over here, I wanna I wanna wipe I wanna wipe out this bit. This this, this here. This is gonna be an entrance to a ship over this way. We we've spoken about this before. But look at it, this is only a one layer deep bit of water here so we're gonna have to go around and remove most of that but i just wanted to give you a quick update before i actually like completely finished everything i was building and be like oh well there's the end of the episode guys so here's your midpoint update of the episode guys <laughs> You know, I'm still not sure if I want to get rid of these zombie name tags or not. They're just really, really not working out for me. I, I, I'll have to come up with some sort of clothing convention for them. But anyway, I have done a whole load of work. Oh, yes, I have. Look at this. Look at all of this down here. We'll go around and get a good old look at it. Uh, I wanted to do this lobby today. This, this was literally the main purpose of the episode. And here we are, 13, 14 minutes into the episode, I finally actually getting around to doing it uh, the main focus of this entire area is good old corporal doorstop over here he, he's a good chap um, I should be totally reset but let me just press that button to make sure always nice to have a reset button somewhere around hey corporal doorstop Let's have a chat. Uh, hey, Elder... Uh, sorry. Hey, the Elder told me all about you. If you want to leave, use the wooden button to the left. Now, maybe I'd like to put it there. Ooh, maybe I'd like to put it there um, so he's a little bit closer. But I don't know. I, I think people can figure that out. My name? We doorstops have watched over this entrance for many generations now. It is a great honour. Now, I'm kind of hoping that people don't remember that just upstairs we have someone who can remember the fall of the uh, of the, the city, the, the coming of the zombies so how many generations and i remember the beginning workout i don't i don't know but that that's a thing uh please do not interfere with the decoys they work hard and like to be left alone these are my decoys they all have a tag decoy i i'm not loving the fact that i've given them all the same like solid armor i don't mind them having green armor but solid green armor i'm not sure maybe what we want to do is color them up like doorstop over here he's got like brown well, it's, it's pretty much brown shoes, you know, we can, we can say that he's wearing green trousers and top and then he would have a brown hat or maybe an undyed hat. 
I don't know. Uh, this little bit over here was by far the hardest bit to deal with. Like, I, I really had no idea what I was going to do with this place when I started. I knew I needed somewhere for a doorman to hang out because someone's got to control the door, right? And they, they've got to stop the zombies getting in, but stop and the rival gangs, I suppose, but let friends in. So yeah, that's that's what this this area is about. And it's quite nice. I've got myself a little desk down. I didn't really know what what else to do. So um, I've, I've worked a few of these jobs and there's always a little space out back for you to go and like deal with stuff or like just just you know bury your hand your head in your hands where you go oh these customers i just don't ah oh. so yeah there's a nice little spot like that all the time and i knew, I knew this was going to be a thing i wanted okay so but everything else i had no idea about now waiting areas nice and easy to do on the uh, inside of a lobby right that that that's definitely a nice thing to have kicking around so that's kind of just like the filler space and the rest was the actual ideas i had so yeah th this was all kind of left over i i had an empty space here and I got into the discord and I was like guys I really don't know what to put here and then after a few frivolous responses someone was like hey why not a plant plot or something like that and I was like well I've actually got them everywhere else but why not a great big tree now it's not a great big tree it's quite a small manageable tree it's actually just two saplings grown next to each other with a few logs thrown around to uh bulk it up a little bit uh, and obviously just took it down into the ground uh, I built the mound first uh, then threw down a whole load of podzol. There's both coarse and ordinary dirt in here because, you know, that really makes a difference. But putting these little bits of carpet down actually did. Uh, the reason I did it is under there, there is uh, obviously the face of the log. And I, I didn't like that. I didn't like having that around at all. And then just a few bits here and there. All right, decoy, how's it going, buddy? Uh, over here, just a little seating area. Just, just, I tried to fill up as much space as possible. Just tried to make it feel like it was lived in, that people came through here on a regular, you know? They come in here, and they either walk up the stairs, go have a chat to doorstop, or, more importantly, there's a little set of vending machines over here. Now this, I, I said, I know I said no command blocks, but this is this is really cleverly done. Down here, there's just a, a nice little loop going. I've got to figure out a way to start and stop this because I'd like it to turn on and off when players are in or out of the, uh, out of the the room. Yeah, the tower. If if people are in or out of the tower at all, I'd like to figure out a way of turning that on and off. Now with these repeating command blocks, nice and easy. You just put, put a redstone block there, and that will either start or stop it. Uh, incidentally, here I should probably have a good look at this i just kind of got excited about the command blocks and i realized most of you don't care about that you care about the look i mean look at this this is so nice i i am super chuffed with it turns out reddit not so much i went and uh, shared a gif and they were like yep yeah, cool whatever uh but each one of these is actually an armor stand with an item on his head uh, for some reason they wear them on the face and that's why it spins around like that. I wanted them to kind of pivot in the middle, um, but it turns out no. Uh, each of them have been renamed with the price that it costs. Uh, let me uh, game mode. Okay, so I've got a few levels. Uh, it's literally just, you go up, you go, all right, those are the costs. Let's press that and get the potion. That's a potion of healing right there. Potion of instant health too. I really wanted these to come out with a little um, tags and stuff, but we can deal with that. Hmm. I see why that's happened. Yeah, so the reason it doesn't work down here is you might notice that this button very quickly come pops back out. That's not how buttons work. You, you guys know that's not how buttons work. Let me uh, let me show you down here. Normally you uh, press a... I mean, I mean create um, adventure mode. Uh, normally you press a button and it just doesn't... It just stays down forever. Ba -da -da -da. Um, uh, worse with wooden buttons than it is with stone but that was causing all sorts of complications inside the command blocks so the last thing that I did was actually replace the button it's very important that the button gets replaced. So one of the other things that Corporal Doorstop has done for me is set me a tag Erlis. You can see that I've picked up ooh <laughs> ST friends is is a, is a dead tag that's not been used but ST friend that that is a, a thing that's there that is for use outside hey 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 you can see here obviously if I press the button then I'm not going to be able to get back in when that opened there we go cool uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck now there, there's no way in there's no way out it, it's completely sealed off so I kind of hooked up this uh, jury rigged intercom I, I think it's good I'm not sure whether it's jury Jerry Jerry I don't I don't know 
it's well, it's one of these words that I've just kind of I say the syllables without actually paying attention to what's being said, and then when I come down to write it down, I'm like. I don't know. But this is supposed to talk to Corporal Doorstop. You press that and it goes, Oh, hey, hey, dude, welcome. Let me let you back in. Which is, which is nice. That That's cool. But if I was to... If I was to remove ST uh, friend, then we can come along and he's like... Oh, I don't know you. I can't I can't let you in. So if you don't talk to him on the way out, he's not going to let you back in. That's a, that's a thing. And down here, we just have a few command blocks that are set up. The, the little um, conditional executes here. You know, if, if you have an enemy, be gone. We don't want you here if you're, if you're not any of them. Oh, this, this was hard, actually. Turns out you can't just put not friend and not enemy. So it's unknown. Uh, you have to go, hey, if he's not a friend and also not an enemy, then do the thing. Because back here we have enemy and we have friend. Uh, and it turns out that if you can test for friend, you can just run a comparator off of this. Now, this this is something that was introduced ages ago, like with, with the coming of command blocks. Um, so not only do you get to take out information this way, you know, the, the chain carries on, you also get to get the information out this way, and that is exactly how I've worked this out down here. Can I... But um, uh, here's the exact same chain. Oh, this this is this is awkward to to kind of get around. So the blue is the logic for the intercom. The red, which I may or may not be able to expose back there, that's just the door timer. That that um, you 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 know the comparators go on. It opens the door, and then that block there is underneath the button by Corporal Doorstep. So that just kind of feeds straight in. But there's a little bit of logic on the go here to interface with it so so that's nice that that works all very well there i've kind of done a little bit of different different striping to this i uh, asked a friend what he thought about it he was like it's very blue i was like oh okay uh, maybe if you replace half of it with with some other color i was like okay let's let's try and put some stripes in originally the stripes went all the way up and across the, this little back area here as well turns out that looked terrible and just just by replacing those with blue it looks a, a lot better to me Let, let's let's show you let's show you why not what what have i got to lose we're doing a little bit of building like this okay so just like that i don't like that i don't like that at all it looks it looks worse much worse than what it would look like over here so that's why i've decided to go with that maybe you disagree with me let me know you see i've been putting down some markers for other things to be built i've changed this here because I've start, it was decided that I'm going to be using sta sandstone slabs as the walkways. So I changed this to brick. I think it looks a lot better. Like a lot, lot better. Uh, out of the two broken trees, this one a lot better. But I'm going to do a selection of broken trees. Uh, the, so this one is kind of... You know, this is this is a relatively standard one, you know. You see, you see this a lot of places around. I don't see this very often. Uh, and this is where I discovered the little carpet trick. Because obviously that, that is horrendous up there. I did not copy it. That's horrendous there. So just putting a little bit of light grey concrete on top is all good. Uh, and then I had some like dead spaces over here that I needed to fill up. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I just kind of built it to take up the space as I say. And I'm just like, ew, what have I built here? It's kind of supposed to be like a souvenir shop or something like that. You know, I'll put... Uh, uh, an armor stand in amongst a fence post with a rotating thing on it. I, I've got to go easy on the rotating armor stands because obviously that's a lot of processing. Uh, I think the vending machine is definitely a thing that needs it. But yeah, I'm probably going to rip that down. Uh, and still, I'm an ahhing about what to do with this floor here. But anyway, I'm actually going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure. I will see you guys next time. Well, I don't think we're going to be working on that one because, man... Lots of thinking to be done there. I think we're going to start working on the shell of this. I, I've all but done this start tower. There's a few quests I want to put into the villager area, maybe flesh out the villagers, but I need to start getting some other buildings put out and about to uh, to start doing some real quests. There need to be other places to go, right? I'd also like to just flesh out this area and make it feel a little bit better. Just put in some little planning areas. You can see like this uh, bridge and... Sorry, gangplank and boat over there. It'd be nice to just have a few more of those things marked out so I know where things are going. I will probably do a lot of those in between episodes, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!